This is KTVO's Good Morning Heartland. And welcome back. Fear of snakes is one of the most common phobias, yet many people have never seen a snake in person. And some snakes actually are beneficial. To learn more about snakes, specifically the prairie king snake, we have Karen Armstrong from the Missouri Department of Conservation here this morning to tell us a little bit more about this little fella and to show him off. How are you doing today? Well, I'm doing very well. I think I'm doing better than the prairie king snake. It's a little cold this morning, uh -huh. so he's a little chilly. So hopefully by the end of the shift, or end of the shift, end of the segment, <laughs> I'm a little nervous nervous here. Uh, he'll maybe want to stretch out just a little yeah, bit. Yeah, sure. So. Uh, yeah, as you can see, he's all yeah. knotted up trying to keep himself warm. So first of all, let's go ahead and talk about the name. Is mm -hmm. there a reason why they're called the Prairie King Snake? Well, yes, there is. Uh, the Prairie King Snake is known for its ability to eat other snakes, and uh, that includes the venomous species mm -hmm. because it's immune to the venom. Interesting. Yes, it is. Very interesting. So what else do they eat? Well, uh, in addition to snakes, uh, they are um, have they provide a rodent control surface mm -hmm. for uh, humans because they like to eat the rodents that are have a high reproductive rate, and so um, they'll eat mice and shrews as well as lizards too. Interesting and other snakes. We like to mention that other snakes. <laughs> so we just talked about his name, and it kind of yes. gives me a, a reason to believe that they would live in prairies, but when I think about Missouri and prairie habitat, there's not that much around. So where are some other places we can find this snake? Well, you can find them in grasslands or the edge of crop fields or hay fields, um, and they can be found in, in Missouri, they can be found statewide, but they're also uh, can be seen and found in as far east as western Indiana. Uh, down into uh, Tennessee, Kentucky, parts of Texas, Louisiana, mm -hmm. most of Oklahoma, as well as Kansas and southern Iowa. All right, so he's getting a little bit more active. Yeah, he is a little bit. So now, do they have the same markings as other prairie snakes, or do they have a distinct one? Would I be able to tell the difference between this one and, and maybe a different snake that I would want to stay away from? Well, some people, when uh, they are young, when they're a juvenile, uh, mm -hmm. confuse them with, uh, <laughs> <laughs> confuse them with uh, the copperhead, but they mm -hmm. are nowhere, which is a venomous snake. And mm -hmm. they're, um, because they look different when they're younger, they have more of a black and white appearance. Mm -hmm. um, you can see uh, the underside of it is very light colored. It's a pretty snake, and mm -hmm. uh, they have those colors, those markings to camouflage them in mm -hmm. their habitat. Okay, so uh, roughly how long is, is, is PK uh, right now? <laughs> it's about uh, three feet long. Okay. Uh, do they get bigger? Do they get fatter? Yeah. Yes, they will get fatter. And that black rat snake that I had last time, we've had to put him on a diet. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah, he's eaten too much. We, okay. We've been too good to him. Um, but these will get about four feet long. Okay. All right. Well, is there anything else you want to add? Um, I would like to know if you want to want to touch him. He's. I will sit, tell you. He's cold, and he'll be cold to the touch because he is cold-blooded. So, do you want me to touch him, or do you want me to hold you him? There's hold a difference. Him? Yeah, you could hold him. He's just cold. Will you keep his head away from me? Yes, I will. Okay. So, if you do not know this, I am deathly afraid of snakes right now, and I'm like, okay, it's all right. Yeah. Just I'll set him on Can your. Can I hand. just I'll hold place him like this? Yes, I'll place him on oh your hands. Oh my god. Oh. There he is. Oh, he's got oh. his tail up. Why does he want to do that? <laughs> oh, you you must feel nice and warm. Oh, okay. Oh, look at that. Oh, you're doing great. I mean, yeah. is this the way you'd want to? I mean, no. I don't know. So when when people go to the Missouri Department of Conservation, oh, you feel so weird. Um, are they able to see these snakes up yes. close and personal? Do yes, you have we have them in cages, and if I'm there and if they ask, I'll come out and, and especially this guy, I'll get him out. Okay. You're doing wonderful. Right. And this yeah. is a new addition yes. to the Missouri We've Department. Yes, we had him in the back, but we moved a cage up front. <laughs> I love how you're saying I'm doing such a great job when I'm just holding <laughs> the, the butt end of, a, of him and, and still mm -hmm. keeping my distance. Yeah, you're doing um, fine. I can take him for okay, you right please, now. Yes, Look, he's, he's like, hugging your fingers. I'm like shaking. So, all right. <laughs> you so again, well. if, if people are interested learning more about the sure. snake mm -hmm. or seeing it, they're able to come to uh, the conservation office, which that is right is off of Baltimore, That correct? is correct. We're open Monday through Friday, 8 to 5. Okay. So what we're going to do is we'll post everything on our website at uh, ktvo.com. Oh, and I think we're going to we're gonna stay a, a little bit longer with PK because sure. he might make a special appearance throughout the sure. show. Sure. You just Not never with know. me, though. Not with me. You just so. never know where he'll turn up. All right. Look at that. He is gorgeous <laughs> from afar. So Good job. Right. Well, thank you so much you for bet. coming on. Thank you for asking me. Appreciate and it. We'll be right back.